Welcome back, everyone, to Foreigners in Finland. Uh, it's nice to be back. Uh, we've taken a few weeks off, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been. Jared and I have both been thinking about how we want to share some news with you. And uh, the news is basically that Jared and I have both decided that the show is coming to a natural closing. Mm. Um, so this will be our last official foreigners in finland podcast episode correct yes um but again that's not to say that we won't have any content coming out ever uh we're still open to using this as a um, outlet to share our opinions and and engage with our subscribers and and listeners mm. so it's not to say that we won't ever post again mm. but just this like weekly podcast episode is coming to a a, a natural and a natural close yeah oh, it's yeah. been it's been such such fun and i think like both of us have just enjoyed it so much and i guess we can we can get into some of the reasons why that it's it's sort of it's it's at the natural end now but i think in general we've both been left from like such positive experiences so that's what we want to talk about today is effectively what we've learned from this process uh the things we've really liked and and sort of maybe some some uh where to's from here, effectively. You're listening to Foreigners in Finland, a podcast that explores the experiences of people who moved here from abroad. My name is Philippe Da Silva. I'm originally from New York, and I'm accompanied by my co-host Jared Luxon from Melbourne, Australia. We talk about why people come here, some challenges foreigners face, and all the incredible things this country has to offer. We hope our discussions help anyone new to Finland get accustomed to life here and bring new perspective to Finns. So I guess like, a few of the reasons would just be that I'm actually moving back to New York mm -hmm. um, quite soon in a, a couple of weeks. Sad face. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's a bittersweet moment. Like I'm really excited to go back and, and be with the fam and, and see my, my friends and, and get back to, to work in, in the States. But at the same time, it's like, I've built a really nice life here. I have met a lot of good, good people and made a lot of nice friends mm. and uh finland is definitely a wonderful place to uh kick it you know mm -hmm. like it's it's a really really comfortable place and uh i don't think it will be the last time i think maybe i'll, I'll move back at some point but but for now it's a uh, see you later yeah yeah see you later finland i suppose it's a common it's a common uh predicament that many foreigners not just in finland but around the world they find themselves in because you're effectively splitting your life between two places so at some point you, you you have to say a temporary goodbye or a temporary hello to like a, a familiar place, and I guess that's what you're doing now. Yeah, so. yeah, for sure. Yeah, and um, and what about you, Jared? You also have some uh, some new new stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, well, I mean, for me, I'm I'm staying here in here in Finland, so uh, at least at least half of the half of the uh, team is is staying staying put. And I think for me, reflecting on on this podcast, it's 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 really been a nice avenue for me to discuss and explore some of the things about Finland and some of the things about living abroad that have been in my mind. Um, I was always maybe a bit skeptical of actually setting up a life here, but I think now that I've been through that process, I can really say with conviction that I I really do feel like I belong here, which is a super nice feeling. Um, and I think hopefully that also gives some hope to some other foreigners who may who may be just starting their journey. Give it some time. I've been here almost or exactly just over three years now, so that's a that's a fair chunk yeah. of time. And but now I really feel like I belong in this strange northern corner of the world. So three and a half years is it? Like it, it flew by. Yeah, because you you must have came here in like August, right? August. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's flown absolutely. Yeah. And I mean we've we've obviously exp experienced COVID here in here in finland and i think everyone's lives around the world sort of went into this weird not knowing time or space moment during during yeah. COVID. so i mean <laughs> it was a bit weird sometimes <laughs> we've kind of experienced that here yeah uh, but yeah no i think in general um i'm feeling really happy that i've kind of i think i found my place at least for the sort of short to medium term here in here in finland um with with work and family and things so it's yeah it's 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 exciting yeah i mean honestly this this episode, I think I really want to also focus on uh, like what we've learned during this time. And personally for me, I think I've really connected with all the listeners and it's been really kind of warming to me to hear things that I'm feeling like coming back to me from the discussion that we can have, like whether it's in the comments or sort of in the emails that people have been sending, we can really have an understanding that 
these 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 feelings and experiences that we're having they're not unique to us mm. it's it's and that i think brings some some comfort when you're like going through this full change of like moving your life across across the world so yeah absolutely it's, it's something that i just want to share right now like when we're kind of finishing up this podcast that i think it's been such a great avenue for me to be able to discuss not only with you philippe but also with everyone who's been watching uh it's it's just a great medium and i really thank everyone for participating and being open to it yeah absolutely i think it's safe to say that that was the most exciting part of the podcast for for you and i both mm was to see those comments and to see people engaging and to see people resonating with what we had to say. Mm. You know, like that was a really cool experience for us and definitely made all of it worth it. And um, yeah, just a big thank you to to all the listeners. Yeah. I think that, that's what made it fun. You know, like if and there I, was no one listening, then it's like, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> why, why are we doing it? But the yeah. fact that there were there, the fact that you all were listening and, and engaging. Yeah, yeah, it's super it's cool. so great. And I feel like we we built even in, in the short time that we were doing this podcast, I really felt like we built a bit of a community. Mm. There were some familiar faces sort of each each episode in the in the comment section and people sharing and explaining to others. So thank you everyone for that. I think it's just been great to see. And it warms me because it's also it's not just a bunch of um sort of new foreigners to Finland in the in the in the comments. There's a bunch of open Finnish people there too. So it's this real nice so it's this really nice mix, I think, yeah. of people and yeah. nice integration. Yeah, absolutely, For absolutely. Sure. Jared, what were some of your maybe biggest lessons in terms of producing a podcast mm. and and putting out content? Yeah, well, it's. I mean, I can put my hands up and say it's something completely new for me. So, I it was funny when we were getting some of the first comments on the first uh, uh, episodes people were giving us some like advice around like how we should sort of frame the videos and the, and the, and the sound quality and things. I mean, all those technical things, of course, just like learning how to do it. Um, but I think learning how to interact with people online through this type of medium was something new. So for me, like learning how to like respond to comments and, and sort of speak in front of the camera, our discussions are pretty natural. And that's, that's, I think part of what we've been doing, but it, it takes some time to build up that kind of feeling of, of, of putting out, your thoughts into the world. So for me, I think that's we. For me, I think that's like the main the main thing. What about you? Yeah, for me, I I think always speaking in front of a camera adds a new dynamic to it. Mm. Um, I would agree that our conversations have flown quite naturally. Um, I've filmed some some videos on my own and and post them on TikTok talking about the same same type of to topics. Mm. But it's always much easier when you're in front of me and it's like, okay, I'm just talking with Jared, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, but for sure, just the technical aspect, the branding aspect, uh, you know, putting out show notes and, and, you know, posting things on social media, trying to create engagement mm. and viewers, viewer traffic to, to the full episodes. Mm. And yeah. And it was just like very exciting altogether, learning so many new things. Mm. And also it helped me personally and i and i would think it also helped you reflect on our finish experience absolutely like there were many things that we started to talk about that i don't know if i would actually dig so deep in those certain topics so that was really nice i th i completely agree when else do you get a chance to sit down with one of your best mates and just talk about like kind of detailed topics that you've both experienced for like long periods of time unpacking how you feel i mean I, it's not super common. I mean, you you know, whenever you're socially interacting, it's always you're kind of bouncing from sort of topic to topic. But I, but I really think, uh, I, I really think this is a great opportunity to know you better for one, and also maybe know myself a bit better going through this process. Yeah. But hey, I want to get back to what you said about learning about how to put content because, as I understand it, you might have some sort of new content coming out in the future, right? Yeah. So I've been working on another side project. Um, this has basically this podcast and, and producing podcast episodes and content has really inspired me to kind of continue towards that path. Mm. So I have like my own project um, where I'm working on sharing knowledge on personal finance and mm -hmm. investing. It's mostly targeted towards like a U.S. audience because that's basically what, what I'm uh, familiar with. Uh, but yeah, it's just like really exciting now to also be working on, on that project. Mm. But that being said, I'm definitely going to be posting uh, continue posting stuff about uh, culture, mm. as in American culture, Finnish, Portuguese. I, I really enjoy those topics, and I think I have a, a true passion for it. Mm. 
And so um, if anyone has been following me on TikTok or, or Instagram, uh, you'll definitely see more videos coming out. Good. Yeah. We yeah. like those TikTok videos, don't yeah, we? Yeah. <laughs> Short little clips, you know? Yeah. And uh, yeah. So how do you think the podcast has been able to influence or maybe create a good impression of Finland and maybe for other foreigners that are considering coming coming to Finland? Do you think we've had an impact or ha- have we kind of achieved what you wanted to achieve during this these last 15 shows? Our goal was to help foreigners integrate into Finnish society mm. and maybe make them a bit more excited on their move and also help Finns get a new perspective for yeah. the challenges that foreigners face when they move to Finland. Yeah. And uh I I with and I think that from listening to our our viewers and reading their comments, uh many people have found it helpful. So that really made made me happy. Mm. And um I'm sure it made Made you uh, yeah, feel honestly, feel I mean, happy as well. Well, I, I can still remember when we had the first discussion about this podcast, when we kind of sat down and we we're like, "Hey, don't you think we have some stories and some things to share that like would have been useful for us had we seen those or heard those stories like in the in the couple of sort of months before we came to Finland?" So I think that it was it was really just born out of wanting to wanting to share, and of course it's. It's great to see interactions from both sides. Like I, like I said, I think it goes to show like some of the great parts of Finland that there's people, Finns here that are so open and like wanting to share and curious about foreigners and foreigners c- curious about coming to Finland. So yeah, I'm just happy we could at least use what knowledge we have from our experience and just give it to people if, they're, if they need it or if they're interested. Yeah, absolutely. And like, of course, our knowledge was limited. It was like a very specific city, sure. Helsinki life knowledge and it was cool to see people who maybe lived somewhere else yeah. other than helsinki say hey you know maybe that's like that in helsinki but in this part of finland it's more like this you yeah. know and then other Finns maybe sharing some some more information on the topic that we were just discussing so that was like a really really cool to see absolutely i think that was how we also learned during this whole process right i mean we were we were bringing up topics we were talking about them from our perspective and then the discussion that came was also the opportunity for us for us to learn like whether it's the comments or some people sending emails thank you for everyone that sent an email it's so great like that you would put the effort in to reach out to us it yeah. was just fantastic um but yeah on, i feel really satisfied with how this has all happened and 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 where where we are now with our with this whole journey so yeah. but yeah so i think in general uh we've achieved what we wanted to achieve and um, we're going to be not posting podcasts now. So this is sort of the natural end. We're, we are going to keep the channel around and there is a chance that maybe we find something, some interesting point that we want to talk about or maybe we can do a distance distance episode in the future. Let's see what happens. But for now, the podcast is uh, coming to a natural close um, and we just want to say a big thanks one last time for everyone that's been part of it. Feel free to reach out to us. I mean, I'm still here. Philippe's going to be across the world but at least you can still use the magic of the internet yeah, to uh, I still keep in, got, I still in got access to, to the email so <laughs> yeah definitely feel free to reach out yeah yeah and i think one of the things that i just want to say now is kind of the last message is to keep the positivity that was in this series alive especially when we're talking about immigration to finland foreigners to finland try and keep that positive energy and maybe talk to your friends and family about it and and sort of see what they think so do you have any last last message for later? Yeah, the last message would just be thank you to everyone who's been uh, listening. And like you said, just continue the positivity and the conversation. You know, I think that was also one of the biggest goals for us was just to spark conversation mm. about uh, foreigners in Finland, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys sometime. See you, when, see you when we see you guys. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.